Hi everyone, it's Helen here and welcome to this tutorial to make this beautiful grand tree. So there's two versions you can make of this one. You can make this lantern or you can make it into a normal gift box. So let's go through with anything you're going to need to be cutting out. So here is the die set here, I'm just bringing that in now. And you get all of the pieces here to make all the sides and you get the selection of hexagons to make the tops and the bottom. And the star on the top there is from a separate die set which I'll be showing you in a moment and I've already got the top section done and a few other parts and now those funny things there that is snow so if you make the gift box version you can just add the snow to the sides so I'm doing this voiceover because I actually recorded this and forgot to plug my microphone in so we're going to be doing it this way today so I've cut everything out, I've got all of the hexagons done already, so on my website I will have photographs of each um, tier um, bits you're going to be needing, but as it's a hexagon you're going to be needing six sides for each one, and I've already run all of those through with the matching trellises and uh, got everything glued together, so I just need to show you the last one. So run that through, it'll fit through a standard sized die cutting machine and I'm just going to grab the trellis die and I'm going to tape that on just so it doesn't move around and then I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to run that through your machine. As trellis dies are going to be um, a little bit finickety I found. Um, just just and it doesn't matter what brand you use sometimes you can have problems cutting out the center of them or the side or it doesn't go through properly so I'm just going to give you a couple of tips on how to get that through so I've just popped that down I'm going to run that through I'm going to run it through backwards and forwards um, I think I do it about two times you can do three times if you want to Okay, so I did that twice and now I'm just going to turn that over. Because I have that taped down, it's going to stay in the right place. I can see that that has more or less gone through and it's cut fine, but I'm going to show you another thing. Just move it over to the side to a different part that's going under the rollers and I'm just going to run that through again. So this is if you still have a, a few problems with a trellis die, something that cuts really intricately. So I'm about to show you another trick now. I'm taking the whole plate up and then sandwiching it and then turning it over and I'm going to run that through again. That's if you're still having um, any sorts of problems. And I can definitely see there from the, uh, the light coming through, shining on that, that, that has definitely cut through super nicely. So already I've got bits of that uh, falling out, so you can just poke all of those out with the pokey tool. I'm just going to quickly use my Sizzix brush just to just go over that and you can see they're all falling out really nicely. Okay, so now we're ready for the next layer. So you also get a matte die for each size of the uh, the sides. That one there is for the middle section. So cut six of those. I've used some vellum. And again, you can layer your vellum up and run them all through. Probably about two or three layers should be okay. And I'm just going around with my wet glue really close to the edge there of the trellis. And then I'm just gonna dot a few light dots of glue in around the center. I couldn't think of the word then, but yeah, just go around the middle bits and then just squash that down. Try not to move it around too much because some glue may come around the edges. I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear, so it does dry clear, so um, it's not going to be uh, showing very much at all once that has dried. So now I have some super thin red tape and a thicker red tape for the bottom. So the top there, I'm just pointing at the top there just to say you don't need to add any tape to that section. This is for the lantern version. Okay, so I'm just taking the thin um, red tape there. I'm gonna pop that on the side panel because I'm gonna trim that down. When we're using um, this die set as a lantern, 
we do need to trim off that tab there so I'm using a super thin tab because we don't want the tabs to get in the way of the lovely trellis light up design but if you're just making a normal gift box that's not going to have any windows or see-through bits then you don't have to worry about trimming down the tab for that section so I've just moved over to the thicker red tape again you can use glue for this but I'm just being quick here And then I'm going to use my bone folder. That is going to push the red tape adhesive right into the cardstock. And it's also going to make it a lot easier for me to remove the backing. So now we can pop that on. So just line everything up so that you can just about see the score line of that tab sticking out. And then give that a good press. And then all you've got to do now is just assemble that together. So just take off all of your red tape. And I did forget to trim off that extra tab, which I will discover in a moment. And again, this is the second layer. That hexagon looks a little bit messy because I forgot to die cut that hexagon into that box. So I just drew around another hexagon and cut it out with a craft knife. So if you forget to do that, that's what you can do. But yeah, just try to remember to die cut everything before you assemble. So that hole is quite important, especially if you want to have lights going throughout the lantern and do the same on the top of the tree as well. Okay, so let's take up, off all the tape and then we can start Put, putting everything together so I actually took that off and it took off some of the cardstock so um, I started from the other end but everything turned out okay if, you, if that does happen just add a little bit of glue underneath that tape after you've assembled it and it should you know st uh, hold that together quite nicely and yes those things are pesky little things okay so let's line everything up this is the super easy bit this bit is gonna go you know so fast really quick assembly especially if you've done all of your prep okay so here's where I noticed I hadn't trimmed that down so I'm just going to trim that down but again remember if you're making the gift box version of this you don't need to trim those down this is just so that we can have the maximum effect of the light coming through those panels Okay, so just carry on going all the way around. So it's easier at the bottom there just to tuck that little bit in so you can fold it up nicely. So again, once you've got to this stage, it, this box comes together really fast. So with all the top tabs there, push those down. I'll do that in a moment. Oh, I'm going to show you my favourite new cardstock. So Foundations have a new pearl card range. Craft Stash have two of the colours. We have Sage, it's double-sided and it's my brand new favorite cardstock okay so now we're gonna squish all those down because at the moment it's quite squishy and we want that to hold its shape and not squish around if you pick it up so um, again I'm just reminding you cut your holes in before you assemble everything together So I'm just going to bring in the extra hexagon now. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to show you the stars. So that little star there is from the 3D stars die set. And you do get the other two stars that make two larger ones. And just cut two, glue them together, and um, you can pop that onto your onto the top of the tree. Okay, so here, here I am explaining. That is going to go on the top there, and it's going to add a bit of stability to the actual box. And again, if you're trying to work out which hexagon goes on the top or the bottom just take the hexagon side and it will line up perfectly with um, the top of the box or the bottom of the box and that's how you know which hexagon that was and that was just me demonstrating yes it's a very squishy box before we put the hexagon on and adding that to the top will give it some um, just a nice it will just hold the shape nicely so that's glued on and then we can layer that up but before I do that I'm going to pull out my wire lights as you can see we have the hole in the base of that one and the top of that one so that we can feed the lights through out the whole of the the tree so I'm just feeding in the bottom half of that and just turn the lights on that looks really lovely already 
And again, these wire lights, they're pesky little things because they like to bounce around and unravel and not do as they're told. So time for a fight with the, uh, the wire lights there. Things stick to it too. <laughs> so it's kind of like wrestling with a wriggly toddler trying to put a, a coat on them. That's, that's, that's what this reminds me of. It's a good fight, but yeah, just get those wire lights in and show them who's boss. So I've got the first half through there and I've got it threaded through the middle section. So they're going to be glued together just like that. So let's add glue now around the base of the bottom or the top base of the bottom. And then line those up. You can kind of twist it if you want a different looking tree or you can just have it all of the side panels lined up. And yes, <laughs> With my little fight there, I'm knocking things over still. So that's a sneak peek of one of my Halloween projects. Okay, so I think we're ready for the next stage. Let's see what I do next. Right, we're still stuffing in those wire lights. And then what we need to do is we need to attach using one of those little hinges. We need to attach the top of the tree hoping you can see that it's a bit out of focus this is quite a large project so that little hinge there is going to be glued onto that just to make a hinged top for the tree just so that you can pop in the battery pack and um, turn the light on and off I have no idea what I'm saying there, but I think I'm just explaining just the tab. So yes, I do need to be a little bit more um, mindful of when I start recording to remember to plug my microphone in. Okay, so that is all glued. It's all, I've left it to dry. And now we're ready to put in the rest of the wire lights. So I have the top section there near the battery pack. That is going to go into the top of the tree. And then this is a good place where you can just test it by turning on the lights, making sure you have an even amount of light coverage in all three sections. And then you can just see if you can balance or pop in that battery pack. It may fall through the hole and fall down into the center part, but you can easily fish that out. Um, and that is the grand tree. I absolutely love this. This is gonna look great with my Christmas decor. I can even make a smaller one by just assembling the top two to kind of make a duo of differing trees. And again, you can just have the, t um, the top one as well to make a lovely trio okay so I'm now showing you the decoration dies that you can use as well so this last one I'm bringing up this is going to cut out the top sections for the baubles where you would hang them on the tree so cut those out of like a mirror card stock or something glittery or shiny and then just add those on top of those little baubles so cut as many of those out as you want glue them onto the tree and again, I think I'm going to show you, you can have the snow as well. If you can see those wiggly things at the bottom left there, that is going to make some lovely accented snow. So if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon.